So I wander about in the countryside with my sketchbook, um, doing little uh, quite quick drawings. And this, so this painting here is that that drawing. So I just noticed, um, I was in a field, I was in the field with the water tanks wandering about, and I noticed this, I basically noticed this bit of wall. I mean, the thing about this landscape is that the, the walls and the form of the hills and how they work together. So I did that little drawing. Then I, uh, so I did lots of little drawings. I, 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 and I should have put my, the date on it, but I didn't. 2022. So I did that quite a long time ago. Then I um, come back. Then I wonder what I'm going to paint. Look through my sketchbooks and something will just catch my eye. Something that I could make into a painting. Um, and then I just start a bit like that with a paintbrush and my sketchbook and I just um, sketch it onto the canvas in paint. So I'm not, I don't draw, I just go straight in with the, with the brush and then there's quite a lot of time just trying to get the drawing right on the canvas. So it's at that point it takes, I stop looking at the drawing really and looking at the canvas. And how does it work? And there was, so for in this painting, this space here, getting this wall in the right place so that it read as space was quite tricky and I turned the picture upside down and I try to you know, fidget about with it um, until I got the drawing right. And then I always paint everything the, the opposite from the colour I want to start with. So this was going to be a bluey green. I mean, it's not. this is not finished in any way. There'll be many layers more of colour, but I start by painting rusty red where I want the bluey green and then bluey green where I want the rusty red. And, and so that then you get the colours. So then when you put the next colour on, the colour underneath um, kind of plays around with the colour that you put on top and you get some sort of uh, um, sort of thing going on there. The other thing is that if you walk across a field, there is, uh, you know, it isn't actually green. And I think green is a terribly difficult colour to use. So underneath the grass, underneath the new grass is the dead old grass, and that is still rusty, sandy, other colours. And so trying to get that sort of... Um, the kind of the the texture and the depth of the of the colours that you see when you're in the, walking in the grass, um, and then I just carry on and on and on until it feels right. It is sort of about memory um, because I'm painting about um, the, my experience in the landscape, but I paint uh, you know I don't just paint landscapes. So all my paintings are connected and they are um, about real places, places that I know, but they're also about um, sort of what is beyond reality. So that I'm not, I'm not sitting in front of something or making a drawing in front of something and then painting a picture of what I am looking at in a kind of very straightforward way. I'm, I'm interested in what is beyond reality and whether that is a kind of memory of a place or um, an imaginative um, understanding of a place or some, some sort of um, greater, you know, some sort of spiritual idea. It's, it's, I'm painting what is behind reality.